guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is jerry and in this youtube video we're going to be discussing how to make black salt black salt is an herbal recipe used for protection in many different practices spiritual practices this is some black salt from a previous batch that i made this is the color consistency and texture we're going for for this recipe you will need some ashes these are just ashes i collected from around the house from the fireplace from ashtrays and incense ashes the next ingredient is optional. It's going to be this cayenne pepper. This is kind of what I like to think of as a fiery layer of protection. It kind of gives it a kick. And next we have some grounded black peppercorn. This is good for protection from evil, banishing negativity, and also good for exorcisms. Then we have our wooden motar and pestle. This is just gonna be used to grind all of our ingredients together and stirring in our intentions and everything of that nature. Mine is kind of dirty from previous use. Next up, we have our smudging utensils. This is some dragon's blood sage and some palo santo. You can use either or, you don't need both. This is just to cleanse our materials. And then I have my cleansed and charged obsidian. This is just to bring in some protective energies as I create this protection salt. Next, I have some black tea light candles. You can use any black candle. This is just to charge the salt while I create it, but these are optional. I actually decided to let them charge overnight before I use them. Finally, we have the star of the show, our salt. I like to use coarse salt, just personal preference. And salt is great for cleansing energies. It's great for removing negativity. It's very popular in a lot of spiritual practices as well. So we're going to break this process up into four steps. Step one is going to be cleanse your ingredients and tools with your Palo Santo or Dragon's Blood. Step two is to set your intentions. Why are you making your black salt? Step three is to mix our ingredients together. And step four is to do a quality check with my previous batch to make sure everything is as it needs to be. So now I'm just going to go ahead and light my Palo Santo so that I can start cleansing our tools for step one. So now that that is nice and lit, I'm going to go ahead and start cleansing our ingredients and tools, starting off with our grounded black peppercorn, removing any negative energies or any residual energies that may be lying on it from the factory that it was made in, clearing out any previous intentions that may have been set with this black peppercorn when it was grounded. <laughs> Moving on to our cayenne pepper. And here I'm just doing the same thing with the intention in my head to cleanse of any negative energies or any previous intentions that may have been set with this cayenne pepper during production. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cleanse the ashes. This isn't really something that's necessary since a lot of the ashes came from my incense and I just collected it from the incense tray. But that's something that I just like to do, just extra cautious, you know. I already went ahead and cleansed my mortar and pestle, so now I'm just going to pour in the salt just so that I can kind of cleanse that up since I don't really have a bowl or a tray to hold it in for cleansing purposes. Once again, setting the intention to remove any previous energies or previous intentions that may be on the salt during production. Now I'm really going to set in those intentions while saying a prayer, asking the Most High and my ancestors to guide me through this process, to lend their ashe, and to add on protection from their energies onto this black salt so that it can be as powerful as possible when I use it and anytime I need it. Alright, now that we're pretty much through the nitty gritty of things, let's go ahead and get started on the actual process of making the black salt. The first thing that I'm going to put in is actually going to be the black peppercorn. There's no particular order that you have to put things in, but when I'm pouring it in, just reassuring those intentions that I set previously with this black peppercorn before I pour it in. Repeating that same process with the cayenne pepper, really securing our intention as I get ready to mix things together now. And as you may be able to tell here, I'm kind of doing this push and twist motion with my hand. That's so that I can try to break up some of the salt. It is coarse salt, so it's a little bit thicker than table salt. So that's why you see me kind of really grinding and crushing here. I'm also going in a clockwise motion with the intention of stirring in what my intentions are with the black salt rather than going counterclockwise. So as I'm stirring, I'm also saying my intention out loud. You just can't hear it. <laughs> 
Now I'm just gonna go ahead and start pouring in the ashes that I collected. I'm doing this slowly because I don't want a big powdery mess from them spreading out. So I'll be adding them in slowly but surely and then mixing it in between to avoid the spread of the powder or the ashes. So then after a little bit of stirring, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what it should look like at this point. And my camera actually cut out, so I did have to go back and refilm. So I do apologize for that. By this point, I had already mixed in all the ashes when I realized that my camera was off. So my deepest apologies for that. That's why you kind of see me pouring a bowl of nothing. That's because that's really all that I did. I just finished pouring in the ashes and continued to mix. You also see that I waste some salt during mixing and that's fine. At least I know that this mat is going to be protected now. <laughs> Here's some quick mixing ASMR for the ASMR girls out here. All right, and here's what you want your black salt to kind of look like once you get through mixing. The camera wasn't really focused, but it kind of has this powdery-esque to it. This is perfect for me personally. Here's our little quality check. What do you guys think? Does it look enough like the previous batch? Let me know down below in the comments. All that's left to do now is to package up the black salt. I like to keep mine in this little mason jar, so you don't have to use a jar. You can use whatever you have, a Ziploc bag or whatever. But I just like to use a jar because it's what I have. I'm gonna go ahead and put that away. Now I'm just dumping the rest of the black salt back into this jar so I can seal it all up and save it for whenever I need to use it. Just closing that jar up now, sealing it as tightly as possible to make sure no moisture gets in. That's just personal preference as well. It kind of looks like powder, but trust me, it's salt. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments of this recipe. Let me know if you try this out and how it works for you. I hope you guys like this video and I hope that you try this recipe out. Go ahead and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed what I have for you today. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.